Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Dapper Glen Farm with a little chime. That will never not be the uh, the best way to ring in a new episode. Though, <gasps> I'm out of tea. Oh, my Lord. Uh, emergency. This is actually an emergency. Do I have anything that I can quickly make in the kitchen to, to set it? No, not even close. I can't even make iced tea. There's a dire time when I'm having to turn to iced tea. Uh, it's okay though, it's alright, it's fine, it's fine. I'm still not going to not water your bowl first, there we go. Okay, let's go and have a quick peek in here. <laughs> ah, this is the worst of days. I am not happy about this even slightly. Uh, alright, alright, we'll, we'll try and not panic. Don't panic everyone, just carry on. It's fine, we can't carry on with the tea. That's why it probably isn't fine, but we'll try and pretend that it is for now. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay, my entire day has been thrown out of focus. Okay, well, let's head back into the house then and actually uh, check on what's going on. I believe uh, Pierre's birthday is coming up soon, isn't it? Uh, yes, that is actually tomorrow, so this episode. Uh, right, let's have a look at the telly. I can't drink a cup of tea while watching the morning telly. Oh, this is the end times, the darkest of timelines. Hopefully the animals will be in a good mood and that will lift my spirit somewhat. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. That's good to know. Uh, how about our fortune? Uh, I sense that a new viewer has joined us in great distress. A young man from Stardew Valley who doesn't have tea. Quick, send the emergency services. The spirits are in good humor today, though, because, uh, you know, that's one thing that he just doesn't need to also be dealing with right now. Even the spirits are on my side. Thank you very much, little spirits. Uh, let's see how living off the land is going. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now, listen up. Never run out of tea. If you think I'm going to stop talking about it, this episode, <laughs> you are gravely mistaken. I'd like to talk about the Farmer's Adventure Guild near Pelican Town. The guild leader, Marlon, has a nice reward program for anyone brave enough to slay monsters in the local caves. Adventurers will receive powerful items in exchange for slaying large quantities of monsters. There's a poster on the wall with more details. <laughs> Very cool. Is it, though? Is it actually cool, though? Let's be honest now. Have those monsters ever shown themselves up here? I mean, I know that on the monster farm they do, but it's the monster farm. I feel that, honestly, if you make your uh, your living on a farm on the monster farm, you're kind of accepting that burden. But outside of that, do we ever actually see the monsters come up into Pelican Town? No. I think the monsters are probably quite chill. Just down there, in the caves, they've probably got a, a really progressive monster society that we're just, you know, raiding every now and then, terrorizing them. I don't think we're the good guys in this story, I will say again. Uh, however, I do need to reorganize my uh, inventory, because it's a bit of a mess, let's be honest. Uh, we'll also have that up there, because that's kind of an important one. I'm going to have my food down here. Right, I am so sorry, I didn't make you pickles. I'm going to have to try and remember to do that. I am a bad avac, and I feel bad. Uh, okay, well, let's pop into the caves and see if... Ah, oh, the bat even left me an orange. An iridium orange. The bats know my, my trials and tribulations. They understand. This is why I like bats. They're basically sky puppies. There we go. Uh, right, let's clean this up a little bit. Let's not have random bits and bobs growing all over the place, shall we? There we go, and I can use those later. What on earth? Aha, uh -huh. no. That one was left a little bit too long. As were you. As were you. Uh, well, actually, no, that one's fine. Oh, really? Oh, that one's definitely been left too long. <laughs> my lord, how did you manage to sneak past my radar? Oh, well. Right, let's go down and check in on the animals. Hopefully they, they can... Uh, once again, lift my spirits a little bit. I'll probably uh, clean this up. Actually, you know what? I should do that now. Oop, it would help if I... Why am I not facing the right way? There we go. Uh, there we are. We're going to be going over to Robin today. I'm really hopeful that I have enough material to get the big barn upgrade because we really need those pigs. Not least because having pigs wandering around the farm will just... Uh, I don't know. It feels appropriate. Uh, can I get rid of this tonk? There we are, perfect. Uh, we do need to still fill the silo as well. I know it's only spring, but our silos are very low on uh, any uh, animal fodder. 
And, you know, it's understandable. We've just come through the uh, far side of winter, but still. Now, on this note, I have been looking at mods. No, 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 before you start, before you get your hopes up. And I'm sorry to have, have accidentally gotten them up already. But the mods in particular I am looking for are ones that would serve a much more utilitarian I'm fairly certain. Oh no, no, it is it is a goat day today. The first the first uh, episode, or rather the first day of each new episode is is goat day. But um, I'm fairly certain there are mods that give uh, visual like quality of life features rather than large uh, expansive uh, mods that that add uh, sections to the game. I am looking or hopeful that uh, there exists such a mod that would allow me to, at a glance, see what a uh, what a crop is, but not, and this is why I remembered coming in here, uh, actually, what on earth am I doing? My lord, let me uh, just go and make sure that everyone is happy. Oh, I'm all over the place. Uh, but uh, there exists a mod that perhaps would allow me to like hover over a plant and see what the plant is without having all of the animals just having little icons above their heads, letting me know, oh, hey, this one hasn't been milked, or, or anything like that. Like, I, there's a very limited amount of information that I want added to the game. It's purely because of the way that I, I tend to play, with enough uh, of a gap between episodes at the moment, though hopefully uh, I would love to change that. But right now, there is enough of a gap between episodes that I just simply forget what what crops I've I've laid down in places. Now sometimes you can you can wait long enough that you can work it out yourself, but that's not always the case. And so it would be super duper useful for me if uh, anyone happens to know of a mod that would give that kind of information readily. Uh, let's pop the duck egg in there, and then two brown eggs, and then the silver egg as well. And look, hey, look, a chick has grown into an adult duck because the world makes sense. There we go. Hello, everyone. No, let me through. Thank you. There we are. All right, let's get this place all opened up. We do need to upgrade it, though. My lord. Come on out. Enjoy the day. And let's grab... No! I should have done it from the other side. Uh, I remembered all of the comments saying, Hey, you forgot, like, three tea leaves. You have no idea how much that's happened to me. No idea. Not quite as much as not... A, not having tea today, and B, having thrown tea leaves into the pond, but it did sad. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, I'm thinking, though, that there may be a way for us to sort out the tea problem. Uh, also, let's get this grass cut back here. I don't want to remove the, the grass, but, uh, yeah, I, I think we, we do need to tidy up the farm a little bit. We've, we've probably got uh, another episode of uh, working on the farm in a, in a general sense and just, you know, beautifying it here and there. Yes, we don't have what I need. Oh, that was a beautiful song too. I'm a little bit sad that I didn't manage to get that. But let's pop in here just quickly. Hello. Aha, there we are. I will take one. In fact, I will take two. In fact, we'll take three. There we go. I am going to make sure that I never have to go through the distress of being out of tea ever again. Never more shall we be tea poor. We don't work this hard every day on the farm so that I have to endure not having tea. There we go. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Done. All right, I'll come back later. Uh, the fact that I did allow myself to run out of tea is... Something that I, I need to learn, and the only way to learn is to endure the, the pain of it a little bit longer, so I'm not going to wait for that to be ready. However, one thing I'm going to do before I go over to Robin's, we've got plenty of time to get there. Let's have a look. Now, Pierre, I don't have any of your loved gifts. Hmm. Fairly certain you like calamari. Fairly certain that's not going to be something I can get unless I go visit Gus. Oh, I'm so... Uh, would I be able to catch octopus on in spring? I forget. Is there anywhere that I can see that information? Let's have a quick look at our uh, collections. Fish. Um, da -dum, da -dum. Where are you? Have I not? No, there we are. Uh, does this give me any additional information? No. Sadness and badness. Oh, well. 
Uh, who else do we want to visit today? Let's, well, I'm probably going to be going and seeing Gus. So I could take you... A, uh, damn it. I could take you a, a daffodil. Possibly. No, I don't think I've got any daffodils, sadly. Maybe I've got a diamond. You know, Gus, you deserve a diamond. Uh, right. Vincent. I can de definitely bring you a snail, Vincent. George, I might have a leak. Uh, ah, this is why I'm out of tea. Uh, fried mushrooms is also possible. Okay, George, Vincent, and Gus today. Let's quickly have a quick uh, poke around in here. Uh, also, let me just make sure I'm stacking everything. Don't have any leaks. That would be in a forage chest, though. There we go. I'll grab a leak. Thank you. Um, actually, how does one make mushroom... Uh, where are we? Do I have the mu the mushrooms to make you a meal? Do I even know how to make said meal? Uh, there we are. No, nope, fried mushrooms. Uh, oil, moral, and common mushrooms. Well, we've definitely got the common mushrooms, and we've got the morals as well. So sure, we'll we'll try and put together the best version of this that we can. You deserve it, George. Let's drop everything off in there. Uh, you can go in there as well, definitely. Uh, do we have anything I need to drop off in there? We did have one thing, yep. And... I don't think there was anything else in particular that we needed from here. Just the wood and the stone to go and deliver that to Robin. Alright, not terrible. Oh, did I have a diamond? Have a quick peek. I do, in fact. Well, well, well. Um, sure. In fact, I'll grab two. Actually, do I have a sunflower? Would I store those over here? I would not. Nevertheless, I'm going to carry that around with me. Okay, time for us to make a move. Time for me to be moving over to Robin's first and foremost. But let me just double check. Oh, I don't have any sunflowers. Or any daffodils. <sighs> the Welsh in me is very disappointed with myself. I will try to get over it. Uh, first, let's go make the mushroom stir-fry. Uh, where are we? Fried mushroom, rather. There we go. And I guess I'll drop the cheese off in here for now as well. All right, I've got a selection of gifts for a large selection of peeps. Uh, have we got into no, the tea is ready. I'll I'll buy a gift for uh, for Gus from Gus and give to Gus. Gifts for Gus made by Gus, the best kind of gifts. Gus knows what Gus wants. I am never ever gonna get that right. I think I will always have to get off the horse. Uh, one of those little things is just gonna have to forgive me for. I'm afraid. Right, let's get down here. I'm sorry for showing up so late in the day, Robin, but I've got a very big order, so hopefully uh, you will forgive me. Hello, Robin. I would like to construct a farm building, if you could help me. I would like a deluxe bar. I'm shy of stone. Can I just buy a little bit of stone? I don't need much. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and get this deluxe barn. Boom. Uh, pink buildings? Oh, okay, that's something that I can I can build, I can do once it's made. Okay, fair enough. Build, please, and thank you. Let's get this beauteous barn built. The, the cows and the goats will be very happy. Not least because they are soon going to be having a new friend. There we are. Okay, I'll start working on your barn upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you so much, Robbie. Also, how are you going? Let's have a chat. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know? I know, and that's what's lovely about this place. You can get pretty lonely up here in the mountains. Uh, I imagine so, yeah. Is your son around? Hiya, Sebastian. Hope you don't mind me letting myself in. Could you picture me living on a farm? Uh, I mean, yeah, actually, kind of. In the same way that I can picture myself living on a farm. We've got very, we've actually got startlingly similar interests. It seems ridiculous, but I've been thinking about it lately. 
I see. Here you go. I really love this. How did you know? Oh, you know, you told me. I do worry about your memory, Sebastian. I'm going to be honest. Is Maro in? Uh, Maro is not in. Well, actually, Maro might be down in the basement. But I do need to make a move if I'm going to catch Evelyn. I may have already missed the boat with Vincent, sadly. Oh, well. I had a lot of things on my mind. I've been distracted by the lack of tea also. Uh, I really can't overstate how much that de depletes my mental energy. Hey, Maru. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. Okay. Well, uh, I hope you enjoy. I hear Jupiter is uh, particularly visible at the moment. All right. Vincent Milado. All right. Oh, hey, Haley. Ah! Wow. Shunned. I cooked dinner last night. It actually turned out okay. I'm sure it did. But I did make a huge mess in the kitchen. Uh, that's fine, as long as the dinner was good. Also... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, for me? Thank you! You're more than welcome. A reward for having a lovely dinner. Right, let's go and see if Vincent is about. Let's not go in there. Let's not hold the snail, either. Let's just go in there first. Hello? Oh, hi, Kent. Are you friends with my son? I am. Oh, I like to think I am, anyway. You probably know him better than I do. I doubt that, mate. Where does all the time go? I ask myself this same question almost every day, Judy. I remember when Sam was a little boy, baby wearing diapers. He was such a cute little kid. And now he is a strapping young man. Don't tell him I said that. I will uh, keep your secret safe. You must really like talking to me, huh? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I just don't want to walk away. You just... I, I don't know. I was just talking to Robin. Robin was telling me how lonely she was. I guess you're probably not in the same situation, considering. You're not as boring as most grown-ups. Thank you, Vincent. That is incredibly kind of you to say. Don't tell your mother. just gave you this. Wow, thank you so much. This is terrific. Don't show it to your mother. This is this is a secret between men. You can show it to your father. Though. He'd understand. I don't need your mother shouting at me for letting you have snails in the house. I probably shouldn't have let you have snails in the house thinking about it. Hmm, there, there is much I need to think about on this. I wish I could keep a garden, but our yard is such a mess. I hope to be able to help you with that at some point. Maybe I'll live in a place where I can have a garden someday. I am certain you will. Maybe I'll live on a farm. Uh, 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 uh hmm. Awkward. Hello! Hey, Gus. Um, do you have calamari by any chance? You do not. Much, much sadness. Okay. Well, you know what? This will do. Uh, I'm just gonna have a chat with Shane. How you doing? You like talking to me? Hmm, I guess I believe you. Maybe you're as weird as I am. See, that's the spirit. Not everyone is out to get you, Shane. Hey, Pam. Mm. Oh, I've been looking forward to this beverage all afternoon. <laughs> I, I was about to say that, you, you know, that that's kind of alarming. But... Considering my, like, all morning long tirade about not having tea, I feel that perhaps there would be a... That, I don't know, that the words taste like hypocrisy in my mouth. Uh, I hope you enjoy, Pam. All right, here you go, Gus. Oh, goodness, are you sure? Yes, I am. I bought it especially for you. I know when they say get one, you know, and one for yourself when they when people are buying beverages, it's not usually meant literally, but in this case. Hey, you look like you could use a beverage. Another one, because you just gave me the one you just bought. Uh, you really look, hint, hint, hint. I need the money. Sometimes the flowers speak to me. Each one has a different story to tell. That's a lovely way of thinking about it. That's a very lovely way of thinking about it. Uh, all right, I guess just, I'm easily manipulated, apparently. Also, I'm stupid wealthy, and if, if being wealthy isn't something that you can use to make your friends happy, then what's the point of having wealth? Anyway, the hair's starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. I am not. Oh, oh, I've, have I got enough time? Hey, this is my favorite thing. Thank you. I was going to bed, but I will probably still go to bed, but I'm going to eat in bed. <laughs> Hello, Avak. Want to watch the TV with me? Well, that's incredibly kind of you to say. Um... 
I think you were heading off. Oh, yeah, you're heading off to, to bed. I'll, I I won't come into bed watch the TV with you, but uh, one of these days I shall drop by. I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. Really? This late? Well, I suppose that would be kind of like baking bread overnight. Only, no, 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 I don't think you'd bake cookies for that long unless Evelyn is baking cookies on a frankly industrial scale. But uh, I'm sure the house will smell lovely in the morning. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. <laughs> Thank you very much, Evelyn. Ah. Uh, Stardew, the game you play when you just want to feel happy. Um, I mean, you know, earlier on talking to George might not have been the best way to make yourself feel happy, but at this point, I, th I think we're, we're getting getting closer. Uh, George, Vincent, and Gus, they've all had gifts. I can still give gifts to George and Vincent. Amaru? No, no, I can't give my gifts to Amaru. Well, I mean, I can, but... Uh, there's no more progress to be made at Jody, though. Hmm. Shall bear this in mind. But all right, it's time for us to head back. It's uh, not, not actually too late, all things considered. Now, I've actually been thinking about something. I know, dangerous. Always a worry when I when I say that. But I've been considering possibly planting some tea in the greenhouse. The thing is, it wouldn't really give me any any extra growing time for tea. The tea is always going to be growing at that rate. That's just the way that's going to be. However, it would make very nice use of the edges of my greenhouse. Where normally I would need to place uh, some sp uh, sprinklers to cover that up along these sides. Instead, I could have just four iridium sprinklers worth of growth and just line it with tea bushes and honestly I'm kind of liking that idea it would mean that we would lose out on the potential um of whatever we grow there and you know lining it with star fruit or, or um gem berries or something like that would be tempting but but i think uh, i think i'm gonna leave that down to you let me know in the comments what you think about that idea it, it would be entirely surplus to demand. Uh, we're we're going to be keeping the tea as, uh, like, uh, hedges around the, the farm in general, regardless. But it would be a nice use of the space. There we go. Perfect. Also, the flip side would be that it would allow me to have tea harvesting all the way through winter as well. Right, is everyone nice and tucked in? I think they are. There we go. Can I pop an extra egg in there? I can. Marvellous. No star. They're already fast asleep. Right, let's take care of here. Did I have any more milk I wanted to take care of? Yes, I did. There we are. All the cheese is going to come with me. I think we'll sell the rest of this. Though I may pop some of the goat's cheese into the uh, into the fridge. I'm going to just go and check how much goat's cheese we have in the fridge. It's been a little while since I've had a look. Let's pop in. Wow, we're back before midnight. This is a, this is a rare thing. Ah, oh, so glad, so happy. Uh, let's see. Do I have goat's cheese in here? No, I don't have any goat's cheese. Oops, sorry. Can I, can I scooch? Can I, I need to scooch you a little bit more. Thank you. Uh, I've got goat's milk. Uh, no goat's cheese, though. So I will drop both of those in there. Yeah. I think that's probably the, the wisest thing to do. We'll go and sell the rest of the... I'm also going to have to go and pick up some... I'm getting a little tired. I'm going to have to go and pick up some more tea leaves. So I'm going to have to keep those on me for now. Right. So, cheese and mayo and duck mayo. Then we can drop off the hardwood, and we'll be in a fairly good position for tomorrow. What should we do tomorrow? Well, other than go and... Oh! Well, I mean, I could get some more tea over here, I suppose. And uh, a replacement to the diamond that uh, we gave Gus. Uh, sorry, we gave... <laughs> we didn't give Gus a diamond in the end. We gave Gus a... Uh, uh, even though I took a diamond for Gus, I gave him a beer. Wow! My lord. I'm a bit of a scallywag on the sly, aren't I? Uh, let's go pop the wood down here. Oh, fantastic. It was very good timing that we popped in here, actually, in the end. 
Uh, let's see. Ah, where did I put the tea leaves? I did put them over here, so I'll, I'll grab them from there. All right, what would we like to make wine out of? I actually forget. It has been way too long. Let me have a quick gander at the value of the various items. Uh, also, I, I, I know I didn't make the pickles. I will, I promise, in time. Okay, I think it's going to be the crystal fruit, which we don't have a lot of. Following that, we'll take one melon and one orange. I guess we could take the coconuts as well. We'll pop those in and hopefully that will do us. There we go. And you can go in here and here. Uh, orange down there. Actually, I should probably put the melon in instead of that, but that's fine. There we go. I am knackered now, and I really, really need to get a move on and get to bed. If I pass out at this point, I would be so annoyed with myself. Uh, can we make sure that... Oh, the wood can't go in there. There we go. They're all taken care of. Right, let's move. We've got very, very little time. Even though I got home before midnight, I'm still not going to get into bed before 2 a.m. It's actually pretty normal for me. <laughs> Frankly, it's amazing that I'm getting into bed before 5 a.m. It's amazing that my character... What? Oh, how am I meant to sleep with this music? This is just filling me more, with more Vic and Vim. I want to stay up all night. I want to work until it's daytime again, and I need to start work again. Ah, my lord. Nevertheless, I'm going to sleep to it, so... I'll just toss and turn and have crazy, funky disco dreams. Oh, that's not terrible. Return there. Day 26 of spring. Ah. Rise and shine, everyone. And let's start the day the right way. Oh, my lord. Thank goodness. It is no wonder that uh, yesterday was a bit, a bit weird. No tea. That's no promise that today will be any less weird, but, you know. Right, let's check the weather report. Welcome to uh, Kozu 5, your number one source of weather, news, and entertainment. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Okay, fair enough. I'll bear that in mind. And... Warwick? Let's see. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. They know that you don't need the uh, extra boost. You have tea. They have seen it. Ooh, I've got a letter. Hey, I have some extra wood lying around. I thought maybe you could use it. Take care. Oh, thank you, Robin. That's that's like a loyalty loyalty uh, reward. Fantastic. I just just gave you a bunch of wood. You've given me back some of it. Thank you. Uh, right. Okay. Well, uh, the tea leaves they can just stay on my hot pot, so they're gonna live. Uh, I'll put them down here. We'll also have the tea down there. I guess we'll have this down there as well. That can be my general storage area there. Let's go drop the wood off. Uh, perhaps I should do a little bit of smelting. Do I have much that I need to smelt? I do, actually. I've got a little bit of everything that I need to smelt. Sure. Well, let's start with the gold, then. And get two of those going. And then the iron. I don't even know why I picked up the copper, given that. Uh, maybe I should make some more furnaces, really. Thinking about it, we've got enough room to comfortably have them in there. So why not, eh? Again, strongly considering it. Super strongly. Uh, soon to have the hops that we need. Ooh, hang on a second. Aha! Hello! Well, well, well. Okay. Uh, happy with that. Uh, I'm going to have to go and get some seeds. I wasn't expecting that. I should have been paying more attention. Was it like that yesterday? I bet it was. Oh, thank you very much. Yoink. You know what? I should take care of everything, really, before I get too distracted by that. There we go. I wonder what having the crab profession would be like. One of these days, I'm going to have to mix up my, uh, my usual... Uh, priority for my skills and actually just you know branch out a little bit explore experience the game in a different way ah strawberries possibly one of the last harvests actually yeah considering how close we are to oh no i'm picking up coffee please. uh considering how close we are to the end of spring yeah i i wouldn't be too surprised if that's it for us for strawberries so nice to get that last little bit in there though 
We've got two more days until spring comes to its end. And Alex will be especially happy, I suppose. Uh, there we are. Let's grab a little bit of everything. And is there anything I'm going to want to plant at this point? I'm actually not even slightly sure about that. Hmm. I don't think there's anything that would grow in two days. Are there any crops that can grow across spring and summer, though? They may well be. Uh, I know there are a good couple that can grow across summer and fall. Uh, but we'll see. We will see. I'll have to think about that one. Okay, well, I've got a stupendous amount of crops. Uh, let's go and quickly recycle, though. There we are. And with that done, let's also go in and check on the tea. The tea is not ready. Much sadness there. Hmm. Do we want to drop off some vegetables? Uh, we don't need to drop any of those off. I would like to drop off some strawberries, though. Let's pop those in there. Uh, I think everything else should be fine. I uh, will drop you off, though. That will be very... Maybe... I, I do need to consider... Oh, you know what? I'll put the beer in the fridge. Sure. Uh, I do need to consider stocking this up as well. We've not got a lot of items here. I definitely need to start preparing that for the Grange display. Okay, right, where we go, we've got some iron, thanking you. We can immediately pop some more on. There we go, I don't know why I just didn't click stack there. There we go. Top. Now, we've got plenty of parsnips, so I don't really think we need to plant parsnips in that spot. If we've got anything else, I would rather plant. We've probably got a, quite a few things, actually. In fact, I could throw in a strawberry or two. I think we may already have some strawberries there, though. If I'm honest, I suspect we do. Uh, can I store anything else there? Anything new? Yeah, all the coffee beans can go in there. That's easy enough done. Hmm. Well, I've, of the crops that we have available... And this, this is definitely where having the... Uh, drop off the cauliflower. This is definitely where having a mod that lets me see exactly what I've got planted would really come into its own. Oh, I could have used pumpkins to make, uh, to put in the casks. Uh, the cakes, rather. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, well, I don't have a seed chest, and perhaps I really should move the seed maker across. I mean, it makes sense to have it in here, but it also makes sense that it, once I start setting that area up, I want to keep certain crops on the go. For now, though, let's just go with uh, strawberry. And I can always change that out to something else later on, if I feel the need. All right, let's go and check in on the animals. Good morning. For it up, Haub. Duck feather. Very fancy. Most fancy, in fact. I would like the egg. There we go. Is there a hidden egg in here? Hmm. It feels like there probably should be. Yes, there we go. I can already see another one just hidden over there. Is there a hidden duck egg in here? Hmm. I feel like there might be. No, there doesn't seem to be one. Okay, fair enough. How old are all of our ducks? Let's have a look. Uh, two months, one month, I mean, they should all be producing. You know what, though, we had a, uh, an egg yesterday. Oh, what's probably happened then is that we've got two that were born on the same, uh, on an uh, odd day, odd number day, and one that was born on an even number day. So that we will always have one duck egg, and we will always have two duck eggs the following day. That makes a lot of sense. Right. Okay then, girls. Ba da da. Robin, cup of tea. Thanks. This is really nice. Keeps your strength up. There you go. Uh, so I, I was absolutely not trying to milk you. I know it's not a goat milk day. Game. Stop being rude. 
embarrassing me in front of the goats. Perfect. Right, let's get all of the cheeses in. Or rather, all the milks in. Well, I, I mean, technically, also collecting the cheeses too, but uh, you know how it goes. All right, let's pop that in there. Now, at this point, I strongly feel that I would really like to restore our um, stock of wood because it is it is quite shabby right now. Also, stone, equally shabby right now. Definitely going to need to sort those out. There we are. Uh, I'll swing back up through the, uh, the greenhouse. See if I can... Oh, actually, first we'll go to the workshop. I'll drop off the little bits of wood that I've collected here. Uh, we're going to want to make sure that the... Uh, let's allow our animals out as well. Uh, we're going to want to make sure that the uh, seeds have been prepared. And move them to where they need to be. And of course... Please don't go in the water. Please don't go in the water. No! Every time. It's my punishment for forgetting to light the animals out first. There we go. And all the tea for ages. I mean, at the end of the day, we did run out of tea this time, so maybe I do need more tea plants to carry me through. Considering how viable they are as gifts, uh, wouldn't necessarily be the worst option. There we go. Seed packet. Thank you. And it was actually just one strawberry seed. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, it's going to make more strawberries over time. And again, with this, I'm not worried over much about how organized my planting is going to be right now. We're more than likely going to be switching all of that up uh, as we move forward. Now, where would I like to place the duck feather? Hmm... I could even put that on the, uh, in the garage display, perhaps? That's certainly an option. I'll keep it with me for now. There's at least one or two people that I know would appreciate that as a gift. But let's go and get this seed planted. There we go. Perfect. And the ground is already watered. But yeah, I think maybe moving the seed makers in here and having a little chest of seeds would be a good move. How do you tend to organize your greenhouse, those of you who also play this? I would love to know whether you try and keep everything related to planting in the greenhouse in the greenhouse, or whether, as I have right now, you've got like a little workshop shed where you keep bunches of chests and that's where you're generally going to be putting produce if you've got spare. Because that does... Uh, that does seem quite convenient in that sense. Right. I hope you're all enjoying down there. Okay, so let's go and drop off all of the hardwood and the sap that we've got. And indeed, this as well. There we go. Thunk. And where we go from here? Well, it's fairly... Fairly late in the day. I think, perhaps, maybe, we could afford to go oh, for a little bit of a... Maybe a tiny, tiny uh, visit to a fishing spot. I think I've earned it. Uh, let's drop that off. I am going to... Yeah, I'm going to keep the, the feather on me for now. And uh, we will drop off the cheese and the mayo straight away. I'm going to go and collect some more tea which I can then give to people out and about. And on that note, actually, can I give anything more to Vincent? I can, and George. Hmm. Uh, right, I need to go and get a moral for George. And for Vincent, another snail. But that's absolutely manageable. There we are, snail for Vincent. Uh, let's get the fishing soup. And is there anything else I really want to grab while I'm here? I don't think so. Who's the next on the list? I mean, I could... <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go and grab that bloody... Uh, that, that diamond. I feel bad that I didn't. I'm also going to grab these. 
I've I've been forestalling taking those over to the Junimo for ages, and I really, really should make good on that. Right. Right, let's grab the diamond. There we go. And we can drop that off as well while I'm here. And I think that's pretty much all we're going to need from there. I do need to grab the morel so I can go and make some food for uh, for George. I'll feel re quite productive with this episode. I almost left without my horse. They're like, what? Don't I get to go out for some exercise today? Of course you can. Hello, Pam. You know, I've been thinking. I wish I had a hobby. Something to do other than hanging around that in that saloon every night. Any ideas? Uh, I, I mean, eh, maybe I'll play checkers against myself. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of people in town that would, would play board games with you. I'm certain there are plenty of people in town that would happily jump at the chance to play board games with you. Hello, mate. Hi, Abba. You look sporty today. Well, that's very nice of you to say. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on your good side. I will bear that in mind. I hope things are going well at Dapper Glen Farm. I'd hate to see it all dried up. It isn't going to dry up. Trust me on this. The food at Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. Well, uh, at least have this. Green tea has many health benefits. Thank you. This makes my day really special. You're more than welcome. This is great. Thanks. You are also welcome. This is cool. Thanks. I, I feel good about myself. I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. What else is there to do? Uh, well, I mean, you raise a valid point, to be fair. Hey, George. I've been thinking. Maybe I've been a little bit of a grouch. I used to think no one cared about us old folks. I care. Ah, oh, I didn't make... Be right back. Don't mind the magic. I just... It, it happens every now and again. I am such a bad friend. Uh, I should still have enough time to get uh, get back there. But going and seeing Vincent now is significantly less likely. But I went in there and I said hi and he was like, Oh, you know, maybe I'll be... He, it's like he's opening up to me, and I didn't even bring him the, the, the favorite food that I had prepared to bring him. The worst AVAC possible. That's not true. I could be without tea. Uh, actually, the worst AVAC possible would be the AVAC that drank coffee because he was out of tea. That would have been awful. Let's just top back up my dapper meter there. Ah, good times. Let's not accidentally eat it right as I return. Here you go, mate. Sorry about that earlier. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Hey, Evelyn. George spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. I wish he'd go outside more. Some fresh air would do him good. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I. People will, it will take joy in different things. And whilst it is fair to hope that uh, they might take joy in particularly healthy things, it's not always, uh, it's not always possible for them. I'm just happy that he's happy. I deserve a little relaxation on Friday. You do, Pierre. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. I'm not gonna... I, it would be nice to give everyone some green tea, but... And I would almost be rude to Gus. It's like, yeah, I just come in here. I filled all your patrons' bellies with delicious tea. And now they don't want your... Your not delicious tea-flavored beer. Demetrius is busy. Right here. Enjoy. <sighs> Not very good. You'll get better. Hmm. If I give the cue ball a bit of a topspin... Maybe, maybe the problem is that every time I've ever come in here, you've been trying to give the cue ball a bit of a topspin. Maybe, maybe they need to try a different tactic. <laughs> Shall I let Sam win for once? And, uh, why, why, why break the habit of a lifetime? The birds were happily chirping today. They're too simple to understand the future. Wow. Uh, kind, of, kind of get where you're coming from there, but... It's better to be like them, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of appreciate experiencing the, the full breadth of emotion. Even the bad ones. 
may highlight the good ones a little bit better. Good evening, Abak. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break every now and then. I wish I was taking a break. I am working. It's much like real life. Even when I'm relaxing, I'm working. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honour tonight. I'm glad that you're honouring my grandfather. I'm not as glad that you're using him as an excuse to have more beer, though. Marnie doesn't seem to notice that you're there. Ah, oh, Marnie. It looks like a decent day for fishing, doesn't it? As it happens, yes. It's like you've read my mind. Hello, Avak. It's a nice day, isn't it? It really, really is. Let's stop at my cabin if you ever need someone to talk to. Gus is okay. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Old habits die hard. Oi, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. Does it need to be the strongest, Pam, considering how many of them you drink? This has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. Well, here you go. Be a little bit more pleased. No, what? No! Ah, uh, spring. The season of pa uh, pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me. I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? It's okay. I could listen to you mumble about fashion. All night. Again, old habits die hard. Right. It's a wee bit too late for me now to be able to go and visit Vincent. But let's... Let's see if there is perhaps a tiniest chance. Yeah. A little bit too late there. That's fine. Let us instead wander out to a fishing spot on a lake. Quiet. Except for the sounds of nature. Which actually isn't that all that quiet when you think about it. Oh, I should have gone to the travelling merchant today. Ah, that's a bit of a shame, but... I'm not too disappointed. We did get a lot of things done in the end. Right then. It is time for me to finally relax. Oh, I just noticed something else I need to do. Okay, so we're going to probably fish until, mm, let's say, 11? Yeah, 11 sounds good. And with that, we've got a Nautilus fossil, a rice chute, and a, and ten wild bait, along with, unfortunately, some trash, four perfect smallmouth basses, and five green algae. Not the most profitable fishing trip. Also, an hour after I said I would go uh, go uh, finish up the, the fishing and go elsewhere. But I wanted to finish with, with an actual fish rather than, you know, trash. Uh, good night, you two. Enjoy the evening. What's left of it? Now I'm gonna have to make some fast progress. Nostalgia. Good night, mate. Hope they don't mind me just galloping through town. But I am on a very, very, very uh, tight timer right now. And yes, I did notice that the first two uh, two fishes I'd done without the soup. And I also noticed that there was uh, a shimmery shiny in the water. But I kept thinking to myself, Ah, I'll go grab that after I'm done fishing. And then, of course, yeah. That didn't quite go as I planned. Oh well. Now, let us pop down here. I've got a little little bit of something for you that I've been meaning to bring along for a while. Enjoy. There we go. Right. Off we head. And back out we go. Uh, we might have to just jump straight into bed at this point, but I've been meaning to do that for a while. Also, don't think for a second that I missed it. I, I've I've got a petronatural sense for daffodils. It comes with being Welsh. One of our many superpowers. There we go. Now, if yeah, we're we're really close. I'm I'm gonna have to just literally leap into bed. If I pass out, at least it'll be on the farm. Okay. I'm sure you can find your own way back to your stable. Ah, damn it. <sighs> it was worth it for the daffodil. I don't care how much money I lose. I refuse to care how much money I lose. Worth it for the daffodil. Every single time. 
Ah, I didn't take his birthday present. <laughs> I kept thinking about calamari. Oh, and then I didn't. Okay, so Avak is maybe not as good of uh, an Avak as as he'd hoped to be. Maybe maybe the lingering effects of not having had any any tea the day before was was still yeah we were still suffering with withdrawals but uh, I'm afraid that's gonna have to be it for today's episode. <laughs> Look, you have to laugh, or you might cry. Uh, at least I've got some tea here. Okay, we'll, we'll slowly bring our tea levels back up to the requisite amount for me to actually remember the important stuff. Ah, oh well. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, though, and I hope to see you in the next. But until then, and as always, you know what? In your honour, a second drink of tea. I think we all need it. Take care, everyone.